Hi Fearless Freedom Advocates. I know it's late, but um, it's almost like 11.30 my time. But I hit the ground running after Vegas. Um, I didn't even have 24 hours at home before I hit the road with my hubby and my baby this weekend um, for work stuff for Adam. So I didn't know when else this was gonna get done and it was so important. I literally couldn't go another day without sharing this with you guys. Um, this is something that's been on my heart for a couple weeks now um, and when I actually had a couple seconds on a plane alone to think, um, I realized that I had to share this with you guys as a team. Um, so one, I'm hoping that all of you watch this and that you will hear my heart in the stuff I'm about to say. Um, first of all, I just wanted to apologize to you guys as a team because the past 90 days of my life have been insane. And um, I'm not saying that dramatically, it just really is. Um, <clears throat> I'm about to share with all of you more than what I normally would um, on a professional level, but I just wanna give you guys a window into my world. Um, one, because I care about all of you, each individually, and so I want you to hear my heart. But two, because I want you guys to know um, I'm doing the same things that I ask and encourage you guys to do. Um, and that when I say um, I understand your busy lives and the stress of it, I really get it. In the past 90 days, my daddy has gone to heaven. Um, that has been the past year of my life, has been walking that through that with my family. And it wasn't just a normal situation where like my dad passed away and it was hard. Like I was with um, my family every single day um, the past couple months of my dad's the last two months of my dad's life. Um, the month I, month before I went Emerald, I worked my business laying on my dad's hospice bed next to him um, the last days of his life. And um, that was my reality. And then after walking through that, um, I helped my family pick up and um, we picked ourselves up and we packed one massive moving truck. Um, so my mom, my siblings, Adam and I and Ava and we moved across the country and we relocated um, and that was a really good thing for our family um, and it was exactly what we needed to do but we did, those two life events were back to back. Um, and now this week, in just a couple days, I'm asking for you guys' prayers because I have been having to prepare a legal case um, to fight on Ava's behalf. Um, some of you know my story, some of you do not, um, but I was previously married before Adam, and um, I married a man who I thought was a really godly man, um, and I got pregnant with Ava. and. Two weeks before Ava was born, I found out that um, the man who I thought was my husband and was a godly man was not. He had been living a dual lifestyle since before um, I was even with him, and he was actually a very, very bad person, um, a psychopath, and very, very dangerous person. So, um, he had no interest in Ava. I have her. Um, fully but after Adam and I got married he got really angry and jealous and so now he's coming after her um, and I'm having to fight to protect her life and so in the weeks leading up to convention I have been having to build a case to protect her um, and so I'm not telling you guys this to ask for your pity or your sympathy um, the Lord is faithful and um, I have amazing support from my husband and my family um, and it's good. The Lord is taking care of us and he sustains us and gives us what we need. But I'm telling you guys this because I want you to know that during the three month period, um, the past three months when I worked for Emerald and accomplished Emerald and beyond, um, in all the flurry of that momentum, I was having to work my butt off <laughs> to um, not just fit my business in, but to do it well. And the apology that I'm about to make to you guys is um, for not taking care of some of you who have actually um, been the most consistent and the most faithful. Um, some of my level ones 
as our team has gotten progressively bigger, which by the way, um, we are at around 900 people. Guys, that's amazing to say. Like it blows my mind even saying it out loud. And I'm so thankful and humbled and amazed, but it's so many people to keep up with. Um, and I am so thankful for all of you leaders in this thread. But in the past couple months, um, and even since really like February and on, um, some of my people that were doing really well have gotten very inconsistent um, in their business and then their people have been left hanging. And so I personally tried to make up for that um, and I tried to fill in the gaps and be present and available to everyone that needed me all the time. Um, but in the process, I actually did some of you guys a disservice. Um, I know if you were waiting on me to get back to you about messages or setting up a three-way call or even an incentive that you um, had to wait extra long for, like, please, please hear me. Like, I am so sorry. Um, and if you're still waiting on me for something, like please feel free to remind me. I have a running list in my phone and I got through a ton of it. Um, I bought Wi-Fi on the plane to and from convention so that I could work my business and take care of you guys and catch up um, with a lot of you even while I was working in Vegas um, at convention and taking care of the awesome peeps that were there. I was also trying to catch up with you guys back home. Um, and so I am trying my very hardest to cover all my bases, but I want you to know um, that I want to do a better job. I want to be more intentional with all of you, but especially with those of you that, um, that are really putting the work in every day. Um, you are doing what it takes. You're committed. You know who you are. You never make excuses. Um, and so there are a few of you that I want to make you my top priority and I want to be available to you all the time. Um, so one of the ways that I'm going to put that into action is by setting up weekly one-on-one -on -one calls with you guys. Um, they're going to be 20 minute slots and I'm going to fill them up every week. So if you are my level one, um, or if you feel like you're an adopted level one of mine, then um, please contact me and ask me if I have open sessions that you can be added into those weekly calls um, because that is how I'm going to hold myself accountable to you guys and making sure I'm always giving you everything you need um, and desire out of a leader. Um, <clears throat> I don't ever want you guys to feel like you're not important enough or that I don't get back to you and equip you with all the things you feel like you need to be accessible as quickly as you want to be. Um, so I am going to do a much better job of really zeroing in on the people that are putting out the most effort. Um, and so I want you to know that those of you that have been um, really, really doing this business every single day, 